So my quick take on this one is a big pass. I don't see many people at this price point wanting to put in three to 400,000 to be at pretty much a break even point when they're done. Uh, other than roof issues and other you know high cost things, um, you probably wanna uh, build, build off the back to open up some more space. That's gonna be a few hundred thousand. Um, it'd be a big project, but if I or most people doing a big project like that, they want to, um, you know, have a lot of equity when they're done, not break even on the price. So a lot of work. Uh, this price point doesn't work. And I just, the guy I look at homes for, they're really for him or for flips. And he wouldn't even want to flip this one because the, price, the money you need to put in does not give you a return on the other side. So not the best use of money that's a nice thick door with a 20 pound knocker uh kind of cool detail in the entry here old tile i would personally keep just because it has fun little old detail and durable uh, older floors that don't look too worn There's going to be some, I don't know if there's old roof issues, but plasterous cracking, to me, not that big of a deal. You just kind of have to look on the outside to see what the issues were. And kind of the stuff that I like to see that might scare somebody else just because they don't have a good plaster person. So old wallpaper, most likely that's hiding some cracks too. So obviously a house this old is going to settle. So it could just be settling. Windows, looks like older screens. I doubt these all function properly the way they look. So you can assume you either like the older windows or you're going to read it there so really the main thing is just seeing if there's a bad water runoff problem or if it's a bigger issue <clears throat> little tile here cool built-ins and yeah personally i would leave half the windows because i like to look so much but it's really up to somebody if they care about efficiency A little sunroom area. Oh, old family photo. Carpet in here. Most people probably would not have carpet coming in off of the. So this is really cool. Very small pool, but it is a pool. So, so far, stuff like this stonework, obviously you could live with until you want to take care of it. Pool, looks older, but it is a pool if you want. Decent yard, that tree looks like it should come down. These are all things you could either work in the offer or just get a price reduction to compensate for these things. I'm sure they might say we've already done it on pricing it. Uh, looks like gutters need, need some work here and there. And I really I just see the stone work and then these pillow doors don't look too bad. Until some issues at one point, some repatching. So this is a pass through. Another tiny little room with cute little shelves. And dining room area. I'll take the doors off, which most people would probably do. Cool little swinging doors there. 
so it might not be the ideal setup for everybody, but these are like uh, doable in the meantime. Before the big kitchen remodel. So most likely most people would do the blow this whole wall out and expand the kitchen. And who knows if they'd expand all the way through that room, kind of open it up. Could be cool. Oh my gosh, what's this? So <laughs> this was old garage space. This looks awkward. I have no clue why you wouldn't just go one way or another. Either just make this a wall or open it up or I'm not sure. They this is definitely an odd part at the moment. Side entrance. Oh, okay. Half bath. I don't know if this would be an office or just a catch-all room. All right, which way are we go? Let's go up. Really need some technique. Kid-size room. Full bath. Most likely to be fully remodeled. So yeah, none of the bedrooms upstairs are Good size rooms for kids. This must be the master suite. Yeah, we'd probably do some ceiling work there. A little fireplace. Do not like <laughs> their boat painting on there. So that could be cool, tiled up or finished off differently. And full bath, same sponge tile, or sponge painting. So that would be redone. Kind of lower ceilings, it looks like. Throughout the upper level. So that would be why we're in the 600 range and not the 800 range. And going downstairs. Storage. Oh, and there's the other stairs going up. So the laundry is down here. Most people would probably bring it up. Another plaster issue. And the extra room down here. Once again, I mean, it's kind of finished, but short ceilings. That is it. That is your tour. <laughs>